Did you know that within the first seven seconds of meeting you, people will already have a solid impression of who you are? And some research suggests that a tenth of a second is all it takes to start determining traits like trustworthiness. That's like, like, like that, like tenth of a second, like that, faster. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a professional signature for Gmail so that you can massively up your first impression game so that prospective clients can begin to know, like, and trust you before they even finish reading your email. Okay. I don't know if that's weird, probably. So fast. It'd be helpful if I could see myself. Like, like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do that again, in case I can do it better. Hey mama, I'm Lauren Golden, founder of The Free Mama, with a new episode of Free Mama TV, showing moms like you how to start and run a successful freelancing business from home. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video of Free Mama TV each week. In this video, I'm going to walk you through creating an email signature that stands out builds trust and impresses your future clients. You will need G Suite's Google Docs and Gmail, plus a free or paid version of a Canva account if you would like to follow along. No clue what I'm talking about? Have no fear, I've got videos showing you how to set up those bad boys too. Okay, mama, we are going to get started inside your Canva account. Now, whether you have a free account at canva.com or you have a pro account, you will be able to create a professional email signature. So just to show you what we are going for, I'm going to show you, this is the template we have for my team. So this is the lovely Mia. This is me right here. This is Jordan. And we have a general team signature as well. So this is exactly what we are talking about creating. And for you to get started, you are just going to click over here and we are going to take the size and layout of a Facebook cover to get started. Fabulous. So as that opens up, you are going to start by clicking over here on the elements tab. You are going to want to scroll down because we are looking for frames. So we can go ahead and look at all of them. You can do a plain circle. Now, as you can see, this one doesn't have a border. That's totally fine. Let's say though that you do want a border or you might be super fancy and you want to go with one of these other ones. Probably not a letter. Again, you want it to be something really easy to read, but maybe you're more of a square person. Maybe you would like a deeper outline like this one right here or any of these different ones. But for this purpose, we are going to go ahead and pick this one right here. As you can see up here, this is your color. So this is talking about the color of the circle around it. Now I want to pick something in alignment with my brand. Now, because I have a pro account or a paid account, I actually can save my branding colors in a palette. If you have a free account, don't worry, you can still change your colors. You just might not be able to save palettes to a brand but all is good. So I'm gonna start by making that pink because that is the pink for my business. Next up, we are going to actually want to add a lovely picture of you. So I'm going to go over here. I am going to take my headshot right here because this is me. And I actually want it bigger because I want people to be able to, oops, don't want the whole thing bigger. If you double click, you will be able to change the size of just the image itself. I want people to be able to see my face so they can connect with me. Likewise, notice how I didn't pick a picture of me with my family or of me super far away. You want, this is going to show up small. The email signature will not be huge. It's on an email. Where do most people read their emails? On their phones. So you want to make sure you have a nice headshot. It does not have to be a professional image but it should be showcasing you at your best. So do your hair, mama, have, stand by a window, get some good lighting, and have somebody in your family take your picture so that you can get a nice smiling headshot because that image is going to be one of the first impressions that a prospective client makes of you. Next up, it's time to add the actual email signature itself, the text. So if you click on the text box over here, you have a couple choices. You can click to add just general text. You have a header or a subheader, or if you scroll down below, you can see that there's some different layouts. So you might decide to scroll through here and see one you like. This right here, this looks great. This is actually um, a, a title for somebody. So I'm going to click on that and drag and drop it over. 
as you can see, that's a little bit big for these purposes. So I'm going to resize by grabbing these corners and dragging and dropping. Now, as you can see, that bar pops up. This is telling me alignment. So right now this image is aligned to the bottom. Again, there is centered on the page. If I go to the top, that is the top alignment. So I'm actually going to go with the top alignment. My name is Lauren Golden. I am going to write virtual assistant. Now, other things that you might consider adding. Let's talk about those. You might want to add your website. You might want to add your phone number if you are comfortable with clients contacting you by phone. Maybe you want to add your email. I would argue that email is totally optional because here's the deal. If you're already emailing the person, they probably already have your email. Yet it can fill things up nicely. Or maybe there's something else that you want to showcase. Now, if you want to add a custom link, I'm going to show you how to do that when we get over to the Gmail side. But let's say that we are just going to do virtual assistant and we want to add Lauren at virtualassistant.com. Now you can see that my spacing got off. So I'm going to re-grab the image. You can see when it turns into this four arrow that that's where it's giving me the image. I am going to align it with the bottom because that actually looks more in alignment with my photo. And I'm going to copy the part that I would like to resize. Oops. I'm going to change that to 16. Now I'm going to need to re-drag and drop it again so that it's centered. And I'm going to eyeball it. And I think that that looks pretty good. So again, you may want to add your website or a phone number. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this as is. I think this looks pretty good. Again, you wanna showcase your own personal brand, your own branding style. So if you have a website, you definitely wanna make sure that you are catering to that look and feel. But I'm gonna go with this. I always, before I do anything, go to file and save. Now you can see here that it does save automatically as you go, but I just like to make sure that all changes saved shows up before I do any sort of export. And to export my image, I'm gonna click on this arrow right here. I'm going to click on that. Um, PNG is fine. Just so you know, the transparent background feature, if I were to do that, it's going to make it so this background isn't actually white. It's going to be non-existent, meaning if I were to lay this same image over a pink image, it wouldn't show up with a white border. So that's what the transparent background does, and that is a paid feature. But for these purposes, we don't even need it. So I'm going to go ahead and download this. Hooray, it has been published. So now that we have our image, I'm going to go ahead and open a Google Doc. Now you'll need just a clean blank document for this. So I'm gonna open a new one. You can find this right inside your Google Drive. You'll be able to open a new document. When I have my new document, I'm going to go to insert image and I'm going to upload from my computer. And I'm going to upload from my downloads. Here is my new image. I'm going to drop that right there. Now, once you have this inside here, make sure it's selected. So as you can see, it's outlined in blue. And I'm going to do Command-C on my computer. I have a Mac. Um, you could also do Edit Copy. Or if you have a PC, use the Command feature from your computer as well so that you, you're essentially just going to copy this because we're going to paste this image somewhere else. Now, go over to your email inbox, the one that you were wanting to change, and you are going to click on settings, this little toggle, and then settings. And if you scroll down about halfway, you will see signature. Now, it might be on no signature, or maybe you currently have a signature. Now, I obviously have my current one in here, so I'm going to go ahead and copy that and delete. Oops. There we go. Now I'm going to use the command V, which is the pasting feature. Again, you may need to make sure you're using the pasting feature on your keyboard to make sure it shows up. But there you go. You can see I copied and pasted the new one in. Now you can play around with the sizes. Medium's obviously going to be way too small. There is the original size. That's probably going to be too big in this case. So I'm going to go with large. Now you may get in here and realize that your sizes need to be modified. No worries, pop back over to Canva, increase the size a little bit and of, of the text, and then you can export and copy and paste once more. 
Now, earlier I mentioned that you can actually add text and links if you have something you want to showcase. So you can see down here that I am a number one international best-selling author. I want people to read that book. I'm also the host of Free Mama TV. You're watching it right now. I'm also the leader of the Free Mama Movement Facebook group. These are all places that I want people who email me, I want them to go check this out. So I can type this in in text right here into the, the box. And then if I copy it and I hyperlink it by clicking this button right here, that just undid it. But if I link it, then I would be able to put the URL in right here where it should go. I'm gonna hit cancel because I don't wanna update mine. Now you're almost done. Now that you have your professional new signature in place with any links to websites or social media profiles that you would like to showcase, make sure you scroll all the way to the bottom and hit save changes. Now I'm gonna hit cancel because I prefer my previous signature, but make sure you save those changes and it'll take you right back to your inbox. Now you know how to up your VA game big time with a quick, one-time enhancement of your email signature. Voila! If you want even more information about becoming a rock star virtual assistant, check out my free training. This specific method for freelancing from home has allowed me to have a ton of fun doing things I enjoy while making the maximum amount of money for the time I put in and spending more time with my family. You can find the link for that down below. Also, if you want to join a community of mamas just like you, I have a Facebook group where thousands of mamas come together for support and action taking tips and motivation. Now, if you liked this video, please let me know by liking it below. Subscribe and share it with your fellow mamas. Plus, comment below with hashtag I am a free mama if you now have a rocking new email signature.